Hello, everybody. It's day four of the Expo 2024, and I'm here with Fabian Umbricht, who's from Switzerland, and he's been flying for 10 years. He's a two-time participant of the Expo in 2018 and 2022. And this time he can't participate, so he's a weatherman because he's a professional meteorologist and he splits his time 50-50 between being a professional meteorologist and a professional mountain guide. So thank you so much, Fabia, not just for being here this evening, but for being there every evening to do the weather forecast for us. Yeah, hi, Judith. Um, uh, I'm really happy to be here. Um, such a pleasure. And it's also such a pleasure to to watch this, this race, um, uh, not from participating but from uh, from from the outside because it's it's such an intense edition and um yeah it's really it's really a pleasure to to watch great so um can i just do the the quick business bit and then we can talk about what happened today because we had four withdrawals today we had um lucas toledo who uh, has got problems with his knees and his leg we've got um uh, Dario Dandeo, who's got a bad knee. We've got Serge Christian Durant, who is gliding in a tree yesterday and it couldn't be rescued. And this morning when they got it out, it was toast. So he doesn't have a glider to fly. And finally, the Turkish team withdrew this afternoon. Barish had a broken ankle six months ago and loads of metal work in it. And I think it was a bit ambitious to come to a race like this six months after a badly broken ankle. Anyway, he's he's had to withdraw. So that's the four people that we've we've mi we'll miss after this. But it was a hard race at the beginning. So today, what a day! <laughs> yeah, today was was a really intense day. Uh, I think the the, the 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 most intense moment were on the on the top and uh, in the leading group and in chasing groups. There was a, it was really like a, a shuffling and uh, and really really. Really nice to watch, um, but um, I'll probably share my screen, um, and then we could um, we can uh, talk about about everything that we we saw. Um, you you just talked about uh, about the, the guys in the back who who had to retire, but there's some more guys in the back, and they're still going on despite. Um, not easy conditions if we look at the, the live tracking here we still see uh, pascal valley who's still still pushing uh, he also had to cover today quite a lot um, on foot if you look at the track he hasn't been flying much so he he's really a tough guy to, to keep going on um, and then the, the other guys in the back they are a bit caught um, on the French side because uh, on the French side we had uh, earlier over development um, this afternoon so they couldn't um, fly as much as the guys ye yesterday so they're catched before the uh, grounded before the, the Spanish border um, here I like to mention um, Sebrand to uh, Sebrand Warren um, I think you have to talk to him um, when you see him because I think he had an amazing adventure today. So he started here in the area of, of Gavarni, um, chose the high mountain path and flew then from the, the Spanish border all the way to, to turn point four, uh, three. So this must have been a, an, an epic experience, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then if we if we switch a bit further into the into the field, um, we have this 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 big the the main field I, I'd say, um, which was uh, we're busy um, today around around um, the area of Castejón de Sos, so it was really hard to keep track of all uh, of them because it was like a um, <laughs> like a ant's nest uh, I'd say um, they were so um, flying back and forth and it looked like really really good flying conditions there um, and once they got a bit further to the, the east um, then it slowed down a bit it was interesting to watch um, BFME who was um, chasing quite hard at the leading group um, and he had to, to slow down I guess because of old develop, development or some shade um, right after he, he left the, the, the cylinder of, of turn point four so in this area he had to slow down a bit um, so the others 
could code a bit, uh, could catch a bit up. And now we have um, the, the chasing group um, around Pierre in the front and um, actually, which is all the, around the area of, of Seudurgel um, with a lot of, of very strong pilots in it. So uh, Tommy Friedrich, Neukur, um, Lars, um, who had also a fantastic day today. Um, I think yesterday uh, he was a bit unlucky um, with his route choice, but um, he made a, a, a bold move and it didn't really pay off as, as much as, as he'd hoped. But today he did amazing and caught up quite a bit. And I think he's still a, a strong contender to, for the, the podium because he's still flying. And if you look at the tracking, the other guys are just grounded um, around uh, this area before turn point five. Um, so he can still catch up even with Pierre Remy. Um, yeah, so it's it's going to, to remain really, really, really tense and intense. <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I was in uh, Castellón de Sost this morning and I mean, you see the live tracking just with the pilots, but I see it with the the tea, the supporters and the organization and when you said ancest it was just blah, 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 blah. you know you had to, to, to get in you know you were like <laughs> yeah and, i can um, really imagine yeah <laughs> so but yeah no the conditions were excellent and we watched everybody walk, walk, well, walking up because that was the thing to do to not go too early um, and to wait for the conditions and it paid off for a lot of people today a lot of people were leapfrogging each other and there's some you know people that I weren't really on my radar who are right at the front, you know, a Christian Schuck in one. Yeah, Christian Schuck, um, he did also quite fantastic today. So I don't know if you saw it, but he just flew uh, in a straight line over, over uh, and pick at 3,500 meters. He just pulled uh, straight and did a straight line from, from this peak down to the turn point four. So, um, he made a really smart move once he tagged um, turn point four. He went to the north in the higher mountains because the, the lower mountains were quite stable today. So it was a lot of, of fighting in the lower level, levels. But he, he did um, this really clever move going to the north um, past big uh, Anieto, the highest mountain of the Pyrenees. And um, yeah, could could catch up quite quite well with, with Pierre Remy, um, who was in a better position in the morning, but um, but then uh, yeah, he got grounded because of, of thunderstorms. Um, we can see if, if we have a look at the, the radar picture uh, from the, uh, from the moment, um, we can see why, why they're grounded right now. Um, if we zoom in here on Windy, we can see that uh, here is Andorra. Uh, there is it's quite a, a intense thunderstorm going on just just north of um, of Sautergel. and the other one the other um, uh, thunderstell is just south of uh, of of turn point 5 um, which should be here yep so that's why this 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 um these guys are crowned right now um and it's an opportunity for the the guys behind to catch up so it it will remain <laughs> very interesting so, should we go and talk about the big news at the front? Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at the, at the leading guys. So, um, yeah, I think um, basically it's the same picture as, as yesterday. So, uh, it was Simon and Shane, which are in front. Um, it was like a, a really a really tight race and um, they really raced uh, along the, the Pyrenees until turn point five. Now they're grounded, uh, they, they're in the rain, waited in the rain a bit and now they're climbing up again. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, it's still like two hours to go, um, but I think the thermal energy has, uh, is gone. So you won't be able to make much progress by flying just some some glides um but nonetheless it's going to be especially if tomorrow forenoon it's going to be to be really interesting and i think it's still possible that we we'll see some some shuff, sh shuffling even even here in the podium so um as today so if we we take um lars Meerschetter, for example he was this this morning in like 15th place 
and now we have skipped eight places because he took off from the, the right spot in the right moment. And I think if if Pierre or or Christian or even Lars pull off such a move tomorrow, they even can catch the, the guys in the front. So it's nothing decided yet. But I just like to mention that um, Shane and Simon landed at the crest and then walked down together and they arrived at the turn point together. And I thought that was really lovely, you know, really nice spirit that they didn't try and, you know, race ahead of each other, but that they decided they'd been together most of the day. So they wanted to get the turn point together. So that was really lovely. Yeah, that's that's a really nice, uh, really nice move. So it, it shows also the, the camaraderie. It's mm -hmm. not um, always fighting until the bit rent. So, but it's also like um, living the adventure together. Um, yeah, they, they were grounded just before the the, the ridge line because of flow clouds. And yeah, then it's it's a really nice move to to do such such a thing um, together and not as as uh, competitors until the until the death. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I was I, I managed to watch that bit as we were driving. I thought it was really lovely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, what's your prediction for tomorrow then? So uh, the, the weather uh, in in the higher Pyrenees it it stays a bit like today. So um, we're going to see it's, uh, going to see some some good flying again uh, until turn point five, and then things get more complicated uh, because the mountain gets lower, uh, and uh, the, the air mass gets stable more stable. So if you have a look at this area um, in the thermal forecast um, for tomorrow, um, just one moment. So you see that it's quite decent until turn point five, then it gets a bit worse. And then in the end, it's it's really, it's, uh, the prediction is not that great. Um, so it's hard to, to get, it will be hard to get uh, in the goal by flying. Um, and we'd probably end up in a, in a running race um, until the end. So yeah, we'll see what, what happens. And you see also that thermals in the last part will start in the, the afternoon. So around um, three or four o'clock and not before. So that's why the guys that are a little bit behind have so even on the last leg, they have some chance to, to, to catch up. Mm -hmm. So it will be remain really tight. And the other thing to watch tomorrow is the, the wind. So we have the sea breeze, which is always a bit um, difficult to, or which makes flying more more difficult. And then usually we have the, the tramontania in this in this area. So the wind which blows from from France over the, the low mountains here into Spain. Uh, tomorrow it could be that uh, tramontania will not be too too strong. Mm -hmm. Usually it's too strong and it it hampers thermals. So the the last bits are always walking. But tomorrow um, we have mostly southern winds. So it will push the tramontane a bit, a bit back. Uh, I'm not sure if it, um, it's not there at all, but it, there will probably some convergence or something. So um, yeah, it's, it's it's going to be very interesting what what happens here. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Well, like you say, we're going to be hanging on to find out who's going to be first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Um, well, all of them tomorrow. Um, I'm predicting that we're going to have people in goal, so I'm going to have to hop for it over there. Uh, well, I'm going to get a bit closer tonight and then do the rest tomorrow, I think. We still want to talk to a few people this evening. Yeah, I think so, we can have some people for sure in, in goal tomorrow. Um, yeah. It's just a question of how much. <laughs> yes, but I mean, it's only Thursday tomorrow. So, yeah, and there's two, you know, two they've still got days. two days. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, we, we might get a lot more. There was us <laughs> thinking that unless we changed the route, we wouldn't get anybody in goal. And actually, with the two days we've had, we might get quite a lot, actually. So well, let's hope so. Yeah, but but you know, um, uh, in the beginning, on, on Saturday and, and Sunday, when we, you had to make the decision, it was really uncertain. Um, it was really uh, not sure if if we have just one good flying day or like now it looks like three good flying days. So it was really uncertain. Um, so yeah, it was the I think the good decision because um, even now, if you would have go back into France, um, progress would have been much much slower. So also in the area of of the 
um, former turn point uh, five, uh, the Trasseneurs. Um, there was was much uh, much show development today, so um, it would have been much much harder to get into goal. No, I still I still think it was a good decision, and nobody's complaining yeah. about it. So. Yeah. <laughs> sure <not. laughs> okay so can i just give a plug for your daily or nightly weather forecasts they're really brilliant and they're very detailed and they give a overview of the whole route so please go and have a look at it at the website at www.expert.com and look under weather and if i can just give a plug for tomorrow night's guest presenter that's hayden gray who is also in the 2018 edition and uh, also lives in switzerland in interlaken and uh, he'll be with us tomorrow evening and yeah watch this space tomorrow i mean we we're thrilled to have people in nuria today we're going to be more thrilled to have more people in gold tomorrow and if i can just say thank you very much fabian like i said yeah, not just you for this much. evening but for helping us out in this race it's been absolutely brilliant yeah i hope the the forecasts are, are worth uh, worth it it's time to read um yeah it's a pleasure to to do it and yeah it's a pleasure to to support this race it's yeah even if you're not participating it's it's still still a pleasure so yeah. thank you very you. much for having me <laughs> okay bye for now bye for now